Hello everyone. Central switch management is a feature that is available in dual WAN and multi WAN routers. It allows you to configure and manage Traytech Vega switches connected to the router LAN from a single console, greatly reducing the workload needed. In this video, I will show you how to use the switch management feature in Vega routers. We first need to enable external device discovery in the router. To do this, go to Central Management, External Device menu and enable the External Device Audio Discovery option. Then, connect a Vega switch to the Vega router's LAN port. Wait a few seconds for the Vega switch to be detected. When the online device is shown, it is ready to be managed through central switch management. Go to central management, switch, then status menu. You will now see the Vega switch is in the switch list. Clicking on switch hierarchy, the switch connected behind the Vega router will be displayed here and upper switch if there is one. We can also monitor the basic information of each port on the switches. Network administrators can register 10 Vega switches to SWM on each Vega router. Also, it supports the switch on the second layer. Then we're going to configure the switch. Click profile, then on general tab. We can set the switch name, comment, and the login password. Please make sure to enter the correct password here, otherwise the router may not be able to get the information and manage the switch. On the VLAN tab, network administrators can set the VLAN settings to each port, including the PVID and VLAN membership. The VLAN settings of the router will also show on this page. Take this scenario for example. The network administrator may want you to separate the network to different VLANs for staff, servers and guests. Assume the network administrator decides to use port 1 to 18 to VLAN 0 staffs, port 19 to 21 to VLAN 1 server, port 22 to 26 to VLAN 2 guests. He can set the VLAN setting to each port. You may have noticed the icon changes with the different settings. Trunk port and hybrid port are indicated by a switch on the black base icon. The blue background with a monitor icon represents the access point. On the port tab, network administrators can enter the description of each port. It will also be printed out on the switch hierarchy. Here, we can also set the shutdown schedule to each port. For a power saving example, network administrators could disable or enable the port by schedule. Click the list on port control and choose by schedule. Then put the index in the schedule. Click save to apply settings. For adding a new schedule, click schedule. It will take you directly to the schedule page. Click in index, set the start date, duration, and action. Click save to apply settings. After setting up the schedule, send to device is necessary to send the configuration to Vigor switches. After setting up the switch, we can go to switch, then maintenance. On this page, network administrators can execute config backup, restore, remote reboot, or factory reset on each switch. In the past, network administrators would need to log in to each switch's WUI to do such things. Now, we can perform these tasks on a single page.